Theater education is more important potentially now more than ever. As we live in a world that's online, that's digital, where people find ways to avoid coming together and facing each other and really interacting. Theater provides that space. It depends as a social art form on people talking together, working together, collectively communicating with each other, personally being in the same space with each other. These are skills that students now more than ever need to learn, need to benefit from, need to observe and put into action so that they will be better citizens in the world. Sometimes you hear people say, uh, geez, well, why would you do a theater degree? It's, a, it's such an unpractical degree. And I would say that you're, you're totally wrong. In some ways, it's the most practical degree uh, because its application is critical for 21st century life. What theater is going to do is give me one of the greatest skills, one of the most marketable skills um, in the world today. That is the ability and the confidence to stand in front of a large group of people, however large it is, and to speak with articulation and clarity and passion and to convey a message. And we know that in every walk of life, in every enterprise, in every business today, that kind of communication is more prized than ever. I think students are really hungry for thinking about skills that allow them to make presentations in, at corporations, that allow them to argue a legal case in a courtroom, that allow them to uh, make a presentation in an educational setting. And most especially, the students of acting learn how to present themselves in any situation. You need to know how to project confidence. Acting, I think, helps you find your inner truth. Who am I? Much of theater, as we know, is organized by a director whose vision then crafts the script that comes from the playwright and who applies that to the actors. But there's lots of other theater styles in which people work collectively, in which they devise projects that don't necessarily have a leader. So the sense of truly working together in a collective spirit is something else that, that I think is another skill that theater provides. Theater has taught me to look for complexity in every person and every moment in every situation. So instead of assuming um, that I'm looking at a kind of two-dimensional uh, situation or answer that I, that I think I know the answer to, uh, I'm always trying to back up and go, okay, there's something more complicated mm -hmm. underneath this moment mm -hmm. or this person. Um, it's been very helpful in my life. But uh, for me, most importantly, I think it's um, emotional intelligence. It's um, learning empathy uh, in a way that, that is unique. Theater is the most social of arts. It depends on people interacting and thinking and working together. Also, the life skill of being able to work with difference. People are different from yourself. You're learning that difference is critical to making life work. One of our most distinguished graduates, Bradley, was a terrific director. She went to interview for business management positions. And she was able to sit down and say, listen, I have experience. I've worked on 50 projects where I was in charge of bringing a large, diverse group of people on time, on budget, to complete a single collaborative task. So an undergraduate theater education is not necessarily preparing somebody to have a life in the theater, they are having a life, they are being prepared for a life in the creative class world that we have today, and nobody does that better. They'll be perfectly positioned. Over the years I've had students go on to become doctors, to become lawyers, to become social workers, certainly teachers, you know, and or professors. Some of my undergraduates went on to become Broadway designers. Um, another undergraduates went on to become television stars. I have former students who are attorneys. I have former students who are therapists. I have former students who are teaching at all levels from uh, kindergarten through college. I have former students who've gone into government. 
There are lots of opportunities. There's a desire to um, teach. So many of my students are now teachers, and not just teachers of theater. When you model a sense of joy, a sense of strength, a sense of generosity, um, you're, teaching, you're teaching the same skills that we teach in a theater classroom. The theater has informed everything and everything that I do, particularly as I think of my job right now as Vice Provost for Undergraduate Education at Stanford. It shapes that job in being an analogy of how I work in this job is how I used to work as a director. A director seeing the vision of the show as a whole, a director preparing the play to go on, a director feeling that my job is to make everyone else within the show better, shine, work together. That's my job here as a vice provost. Studying theater is studying life. I'm allegedly teaching playwriting. I'm allegedly teaching performance or acting. But what I'm really teaching is how to be conscious, how to listen, how to um, notice what you remember, how to recognize an artistic impulse. I feel the study of theater prepares you for unlimited possibilities. And one of the great things it does is make you aware of your own deepest impulses. Consciousness of your impulses leads you in the right direction. It prepares you for life to come and get you, wherever that's going to be. It's very basic, very literal life skills. I think a theater education, as I said before, in terms of criticism, is really useful for practicing writing skills and critical writing skills. When I teach arts criticism, it's certainly about what's happening on stage and how we can articulate it, but it's also how do we put together a decent sentence? How can we use rhetoric persuasively? How can we formulate an argument and then prove it? So theater education on a critical level, I think is really important to a, a popular political political and social discourse as a nation and really on a global level. By learning the tools of theater criticism, I can think about how candidates are interacting with one another in an election, With think about how the press is representing different candidates against each other. I can think about how conflict plays out in all sorts of political scenarios because theater gives us those ways of thinking about narrative, about character, about human interaction. I think one thing we often struggle with, or at least I find I often struggle with, is just how many different forms of media or how much sort of information overload I get on a normal day and how I have to be able to sift through all of that and often hold multiple opposing viewpoints at the same time in my mind. And that's something I think theater does well. Even when a work is really dedicated to a particular ideology or a particular philosophy, I think that theater often has to show multiple viewpoints in conflict on stage. I think anytime you ask people to come together in a room and listen carefully and watch carefully and be present, we're teaching people how to be good you know, people in the social world, how to, to work in a democracy. I do think that in terms of getting people together to actually talk to each other or just simply listen together in a room, theater actually serves the community well. And I think what's unique about theater is that it's, about, it's based on stories and storytelling and the human experience. And so it's a place that we can collect live and reflect on ourselves with other people there. Um, and, uh, and I think we're better off for it. The theater is about the human condition. There's something about that live audience uh, that people who go to the theater enjoy. Being in that community, watching that particular play. You go because you want to see a winning team. You go because you want to see something that's going to have you look at reality in a different way. That's what art is all about. People want to see themselves on stage, and that's building their sense of community. You walk out of a play that has established your reality, your history, and, and you walk out enriched. You walk out feeling, uh-huh, that's my history. I really, truly have not found something that builds community faster than theatrical enterprise. I really feel that I could get a bunch of the most curmudgeonly politicians in a room, and if we could create a piece of performance together, we could find a way to pass some decent legislation. Theater has that kind of power, but it has the, the power to bring everybody's humanity into the same place. I think theater has changed me because it continually inspires me. I do a lot of work in, for instance, in sustainability and climate change. We can't make inroads on climate change if we don't change the way people think. Well, what does theater do? 
theater has the opportunity to change the way we think about our lives, about our societies, about our culture. Um, so wherever I'm at, I'm constantly finding the way that theater feeds just about every discipline we can possibly imagine and how it can take it further. Students learn quite a bit from uh, theater education. As theater people, we reinvent our job every four weeks. It's an incredible uh, skill, that uh, resilience and that creativity. It's that ability to reinvent oneself uh, and take on new tasks, work with new people each time out that will be the most useful. And in fact, the idea in education today is not to prepare a student to just do one thing. They've got to, in fact, what we're really doing, as someone said, is not preparing them for the jobs and the careers and the opportunities that exist today, for the ones that don't even exist yet, that they have to be nimble, that they have to be multi-talented, that they have to have those essential skills of collaboration and communication and imagination and creativity. Art lives in that place where we don't know what's going to happen. And ultimately, we as, as uh, people in our everyday lives, we're terrified to go into that spot. We always stop well short where it's safe, where we know what's going to happen. But, you know, all of the greatest creations in this world, be it in art or be it in the, the invention of a telephone or whatever it was, happened because somebody wasn't afraid to go beyond that spot into the place of unknown. I think theater can help us do almost anything. I'm of the opinion that theater, that the arts are key to changing and shaping the world. Don't worry if your student is going into theater. Celebrate.